everyone, it's Imogen and welcome back to Colouring Kid. In today's video, I have a flip through for you of this brand new book called Dreamland by Renetta Krogsyke. I have no idea if that's right, I um, apologise. Um, the lovely Renetta I randomly came across on Instagram and you know how it was with Instagram, you just get um, people coming up on your feed and I saw her artwork and it looked amazing. And then I realised that she was um, releasing a colouring book very soon and um i i saw that it was coming out in the us um but not in the uk until october time so i contacted her and i said is there any way that i can get the book early and she didn't know of um anywhere that i could get it if i was in the uk in the end i managed to find it uh, from a us seller on ebay um i ordered it a little while ago um on the 18th or 19th of august i think and it's just arrived today and today's the 4th of september so it's taken a little bit of um time to come that's absolutely fine i've had other things to occupy me uh, but i wanted to do a flip through for you because i believe there's only one on youtube and i did let renetta know that i was going to do a flip through of it because i was very excited to i haven't flipped through the book um i've only just got it but i have seen the the flip through on youtube before but i'm still kind of looking at it with fresh eyes so we have this lovely cover with partially coloured elements, which is beautiful. It's the same size, I believe, as Joanna Bassford books. Let me just get one for you. Yeah, so they're pretty much the same size, give or take a few uh, millimetres um, either way. Um, but yeah, any book like that, it's it's pretty much the same size. So it's a fairly large book. Um, on the back. We have an uncoloured image with some information. It says, time stands still when you enter the magical lands of artist Renetta Krog Sykes' imagination. Let your mind wander as you colour these dreamy landscapes and the fanciful characters and enchanting animals that inhabit them. Drawn by pen in ink, pen and ink, sorry, the beautifully intricate illustrations feature charming scenes of whimsical cottages, del delicate flowers, paper sailboats, tiny teacups, toadstools, unicorns and more. You'll make them your own as you colour them with your imagination. So if you're in the US, you can get this book on Amazon. Uh, for those of us in the UK, it doesn't come out until the October. October 17th so um, you can pre-order it on Amazon or book depository uh, or alternatively order it um, through the seller that I bought it from from eBay instead. So it has a thick card cover and we have the title page here. There is a larger illustration of this page um, in the book. Um, this is published by Get Creative 6. Um, I won't read this because uh, it's fairly long, but uh, feel free to pause the video and uh, learn a bit more about Renetta and what inspired her to create the book. She's got a very unique style. Her style reminds me of Angie Lewin, who is an um, artist uh, based in the UK and her artwork is lovely. So uh, Renetta does live in Poland, so this is a Polish book. Um, and, but this is the American edition. I'm not sure if the paper will differ um, in the UK edition as the American edition, but um, I'll have to wait and see. I love the fact that there's different line widths as well. So the bits that she wants to be in the forefront are in a thicker line art, and then we've got thinner line art sections as well. That's absolutely gorgeous. And then we move on to just single sided pages, which is absolutely fantastic because you can use your markers, you can use anything you want. So yeah, these are very whimsical, um, which I really like. And there are some very detailed pages um, in this book. So maybe a good one for your fine liners or gel pens. Oh, that is adorable, the little foxes. I love these simpler images as well. Reminds me a little bit of Botanical Wonderland by Rachel Wynett. These mushrooms are lovely as well. So, you know, if you're into this whimsical sort of style, um, delicate line art, that sort of thing, you're going to love this book. And as I said, you can use your markers, anything you want. I love this one. There's this gorgeous wreath and these cute people as well on it. And the lovely thing is, because it's very whimsical, you can use any colours you want. You can go wacky with colours. 
It's a fairly thick book as well. There's a lot of illustrations and I believe, yep, they're perforated as well. So you can take them out, display them. And the paper is thick, so you could definitely use water media. This one's lovely. We've got a circus tent inside a jar. It's very imaginative. There are a couple of images that you can see on the look inside bit on Amazon. So um, I did see a few sneak peeks before the video came, um, came out that I saw. It's very stylized as well. I, I love it. This one reminds me a lot of Up uh, with the balloons. This one we had at the very beginning, I believe. Yep, that one there. That one's pretty. And because there are some really detailed pages, you don't properly see everything until it's actually in person, which I think is really nice because you're kind of seeing it all over again for the first time. That one's really sweet. And again, that's the bigger image that I was talking about. I'm definitely going to be using my fine liners in this. Brilliant. Oh, cute rabbits there. I can't actually tell what um, this one is. There's so much going on. I can't actually, yeah, I can't actually tell what that is. I have to have a um, better look in a minute. love the paper boats and so you get some that are more scenes you know full scenes and then you get also the more objecty pages as well that's lovely with the mushrooms coming out of the house love that one and as i said because it's whimsical you don't have to color the leaves green um i personally like to color leaves green when I'm doing things realistically but I feel like you can you can do whatever you want I love the balloons for that one a really cute deer there are a lot of pages in this book another unicorn there hot air balloons I believe that's the front cover yep is so sweet i mean if you're intimidated by um detail this probably would be a good book to to start with because as mentioned you know there are some really detailed pages and then there are others that aren't so detailed so you know like this one um, i think this is a pineapple but then the um the top part has sprouted into lots of leaves and flowers that is lovely A more detailed one there. I love that there's a mixture of people and animals and the botanicals and you know trees and plants and things as well. It's a really good mixture. Oh, it's beautiful. And that is the book. We then have a really cute image just at the back there, so it's a little bit out of focus. That would be good to maybe test your media. And then that is the end. So um, I very much hope you enjoyed watching. That's a gorgeous book. I really like it. I'm hoping to work in it um, this, uh, well, probably not this month, um, next month, hopefully. Um, or at least start something in here. You never know. But that's absolutely gorgeous. As I said, I will put a link in the description to where I purchased it on eBay. Um, and I received the book. So it's obviously a, re a reliable seller. Um, but alternatively, you can wait until October 17th if you're in the UK. Um, in the US, it's already out. Um, but yeah, that's everything for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all in my next video. Take care, everyone. Bye.